This is part two of my bard guide. I went over songs and melodies in part one. In part two, I'm just going to cover my setup. Um, it's a revision to a video I did earlier. So this bar is just, you know, my teleports, kick, make sure it's auto activated. It's not used much, but it's there. This bar here is again, more utility stuff, you know, unified Phoenix feather, my cloak and my uh, charm for clicking those, rapier of somber notes, more for posterity's sake than anything, but hey, it's a click. lesser version this bar here I handle memory memorizing my spells bar I put a hyphen there to make it come out on top so I have my spell sets all of these spells are just one spell memorized so I don't mess up my you know I can individually do things so this would be Jonathan's if I wanted to use that instead of War March if I wanted to throw in some AC Spry Sonata this one's not really needed right now because I've gone with a uh, regen heavy setup I've got Crescendo and psalm memorized already um ae 35 slow but sometimes i'll change that for my single target slow because it does 60 percent snare single target cure area of absolution obviously you want to be able to get rid of restless ice etc and then charm i don't have charm usually memorized so if i'm going to switch to charm I would uh, memorize that. I a lot of times will just mez by going up and hitting the spell bar, but this one will immediately move me to X target two if I want to mez the, the number two slot. Uh, my AE mez and then pacify. So those are all my kind of just utility stuff. I use those a lot. This is my primary hotbar. Got melee attack, melody. I go into my various melodies in part one of this video guide. So the first video, but I will just note that if you put a pound sign in front of any line on a social key, it will assume that's a comment and ignore it. So if you wanted to have different melodies, you could put a pound sign and just remove the pound sign, put you know, put the pound sign near whichever melody you don't want to use. Again, I go into that in my first video. Um, I boastful bellow. I almost I don't tag with it. I don't um, pull with boastful bellow, even though it's got great range. But I do hit mobs with it whenever it's up because it does, it's a nice debuff. It's a, it's a nice extra damage. Cacophony. I tend to use that. It refreshes every three minutes, so I tend to use this whenever it's up. Spire refreshes every seven and a half minutes. I tend to use this whenever it's up. And then Sonic Disturbance and Silent Displacement, my two primary pulling to tools. If it's a single mob, I'll hit with Sonic Disturbance. Or if I just want to tag it and then deal with whatever comes. Silent Displacement is great if there's like two mobs. You displace one, it forgets you, and the other one comes. Uh, Stop Song. And I have a tack off here that can or, you know, sometimes you don't want to tack off, but I have it there. And then Silo Sonata, 
little extra boost of speed, double invis. Liar Leap is great if you get um, snared or rooted, you can still leap away. It's a little save your life when you're kiting sometimes. I use it a reasonable amount of time. Let's not start spinning around here. People hate that. We'll stand here. Fade, this is my fade key. Stop song, stops attack, all back off. If I was really getting fancy, I would put in, um, put my Merc on passive when I fade, but a lot of times that's too late. Because when you fade, if your mercenary has aggro, that's not gonna clear aggro. So make sure to use, uh, have yourself set as puller when appropriate, if you're pulling. Um, next is, I, I call this my burn line. It's not strictly burn line. Obviously, Prankster and Song of Stone are your swarm pets. They are what they are. They're not a lot of DPS, but they're fun. You can use to throw them on, off. They're not going to off tank, but they'll slow down a mob coming in. You don't want to use these swarm pets if you're pulling because they will come along behind you, and if you get any aggro, they will... Uh, it will mess up your pulls. I prefer not to use swarm pets when I'm pulling. This is my epic key. Generally, it triggers fierce eye and my epic. And that refreshes every three minutes. I pretty much use that when it's up. This is more for when I'm burning. I want to do extra damage. Maybe a lot of mobs come in. Maybe I'm doing a named. It's got a number of quick uh, damage boosters. Uh, Fierce Eye, the main reason I have Fierce Eye there is that I use my Epic to trigger it, and this will tell me when my Epic's ready to be done again, because it will pop up. So I hit Epic, and it goes down. Um, Funeral Dirge. Additional damage. Frenzied Kicks. Flurry of Notes. You have Procs. These are all additional damage. Your glyph, quick time. I probably should put that after there. And then Dirge of the Sleepwalker is a really nice single target mez. It's got a great resistive of at minus 65. Its range is 260 feet, so it's got fantastic range. I use this a lot when I'm going to just do like a single target mez pull or something because I know it's going to work. And it refreshes every five minutes. Staunch recovery, and then uh, this line is more of a utility line, but last stand, shield notes, death dance. These are things that if I'm suddenly tanking, they're going to help me survive. This refreshes every seven minutes, so I use it fairly often. This refreshes every 20 minutes. I tend to use it less often. And death dance is last for an hour. Again, use it when you need it but it does take an hour to refresh. Uh, dissident Chords is if I'm going to have to tank something, maybe the tank goes down, um, I'll use Dissident Chords on the mob. Now I will actually able to be able to hold aggro. And then I'll use maybe Death Dance and Dissident Chords is a nice combination because you've drawn aggro on yourself. You're going to stand up. Hopefully your cleric can get the tank up or take whatever is necessary action to get you back in the game. Lure of Sirens, that pulls mobs to you. Um, sometimes I'll do that positioning when you pull a mob in and he's on the edge where he might aggro something, use Lure of Sirens, and you can bring it in. I think it works on mobs up to three levels higher than you. So basically any mob that you're going to be dealing with out of a raid setting. And then I have uh, just, if I want to let the people know what I'm pulling. Once I'm in a group, I tend not to do it, but sometimes it matters. Your track, um, forage, yay. And then uh, some hide corpse, drag corpse, and then these are uh, mana boosters. Hit this whenever it's up, and whenever it's up and when the group has been doing something so that it's not full mana. Uh, rallying solo, there's also rallying group. I tend to use rallying solo. Um, if I'm 
low mana, you know, it's it's a nice little boost. Use that whenever it's up. If you're thirty percent or below, if your group is um, low mana a lot, then switch to rallying group. The key is when you hit rallying solo or rallying group, whoever it, it, if it's a group, you're going to get this uh, buff that will last 30 seconds. And if you attack anything, it goes away. So essentially, you're out of combat for 30 seconds to get the effectiveness of this. That's why I don't use rallying groups so much, because you're pulling continuously. The group doesn't want to stop. They don't know what, what's going on. So you're sort of wasting the buff unless you really explain it in advance. Another rallying solo, you can do it as the mob dies. And then as you go out on your pull, pause for a second. You know, it's, it's almost seamless. You just wait. Let that buff give you your mana back, and then do your attack. It won't work now because I'm full mana. So these are my setup. There's a video I do on how to colorize these hot bars, how to change the size. You can take a look at that video if you want. Um, I really don't use combat abilities that much because Thousand Blades is a disc. I've got that in my hotkey, Thousand. Fearless is just essentially useless whenever you last use that. Reflexus Rebuttal is the main thing, is down here. It's up there. If it's up and we're fighting and the group has spent any mana, this is a nice quick. Uh, 21,000 points of mana. Between that and Crescendo and Psalm, you can do a lot to keep your group fighting, especially if you've got something like a wizard in it. And that is my setup. I will talk to you guys all later. Take care.